If you're trying to buy a car, but can't figure out what type of financing is best, then keep watching. The amount of car financing options out there is probably feeling overwhelming, isn't it? Direct lending or dealer financing. Then there's buy here, pay here, third party, credit unions, loan sharks, Darth Vader's payday loans. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. Before you decide to say F it and go with whatever, let's figure out the differences so that you could do what's best for you. What's going on, my beautiful people? My name is Mark Beneke, a proud member of the Wesson Auto family. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the differences between direct lending and dealer financing, as well as looking at the advantages and disadvantages of them. And I'll even throw in a bonus in there that covers a niche subsection of the two. By the end of the video, you'll know what each of them are and how they work, the advantages of each, and the disadvantages so you know how to approach getting your next vehicle. First up, the most confusing of them all, direct lending. The actual definition of of direct lending is debt where non-bank lenders make loans directly to a company without any kind of intermediaries. But when we're referring to the car industry, that gets switched up a little bit. In the car market, direct lending refers to a type of loan that is obtained either through an online lender, a bank, or a credit union. That means that you first go and apply with them, get your approval amount and conditions, and then you go and start car shopping. What are the advantages of direct lending? The first is that most of the time they have very competitive interest rates and they also don't jack them up to turn a profit. The second is that a lot of the time we already have a pre-existing relationship with them because they already know and trust us. They're able to provide us discounts. Cool, right? Well, doesn't go without disadvantages. So what are the disadvantages? They tend to be quite a bit more strict when it comes to eligibility. Also, they provide loans for pretty much anything. So there is no specialization when it comes to auto loans. They're also not as accessible to anybody who has challenging credit or a challenging financial situation. That means not welcome. And this is also more of like a DIY method. So yes, there can be a lot of savings, but it will require for you to do a lot more legwork. It could be a little bit more complex and it could take a lot longer. So that brings us to dealership financing. Dealership financing is synonymous with indirect lending, which refers to car loans that you can get through the car dealership. Think of the dealership as the middleman or the broker that connects you with the lender. So what are the advantages here? The biggest advantage is the complete done for you service. You show up, you find the car you like, you do the application and they find you the best options out there for your situation. And these lenders have a lot of experience when it comes to auto loans, so they might be easier to work with. If your application is one that they like looking at, you know the type, the one that passes by and you find yourself just continuing to gaze back. <laughs> if that's the case, then you're gonna find that a lot of these lenders are gonna start competing against each other a lot of the time, even beating direct lenders. But these come with disadvantages as well because they won't always beat direct lenders. In fact, most of the time they won't. They usually don't always carry the best rates or terms. And there's also a massive part that I severely dislike, and that's the palm greasing that still goes on to this day. That just means that they build relationships with loan officers and they're incentivized to do what's best for them and the lenders not you. Now, the third thing is that there's very limited options when it comes to challenging credit or finances, and you're limited to the inventory that the dealership carries. Take your pick, except for the one on the end. Now, remember how I mentioned that niche subsection? Well, it doesn't quite fit into either of those two categories, yet it's still a route that you can use to finance a vehicle, especially if you're in a bit of a tricky situation that requires a little bit more help. Now, talking about help, I could really use yours. I have a single tiny favor to ask of you. All of us here at Westland have seen how destructive not getting in control of your credit and your finances could be to your life. We want to help those who are ready for our help do away with bad credit and get in control of their money. Our program doesn't just provide them a reliable vehicle. It provides them one that allows them to focus on using the tools in our step-by-step -step guide to building credit and getting in control of their money. Because of that, we could really use your help in finding them. So if you're in the Fresno area and know somebody who could use our services, all I ask is that you be kind to them by letting them know about us. Not only would you be rewarded for it, but you would also be helping them better their future. And if you're not in the Fresno area, then all I ask is that you be kind to someone, anyone today. It could be something as simple as just holding a door open for somebody. Those types of things can go a very long way. Thanks. So that brings us to 
buy here, pay here. Buy here, pay here financing is sometimes referred to as dealership financing or in-house financing, but it's technically different than dealership financing. By the direct definition, it's technically a mixture of both dealer financing and direct lending. It's where the dealership itself provides you the loan and does not involve any outside lenders at all. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages to this. The first advantage, easy and hassle-free financing for any credit score. This includes previous repos, previous collections, charge-offs, bankruptcies. I declare bankruptcy! You name it. The second is complete done-for-you service from beginning to end, which means that even while you're paying off their car, they're handling pretty much everything for you. There's never any other party that you need to deal with other than, let's say, like the DMV when you need to go and re-register the car. What's the... Plate. 29THD03. Two. Nine. Or your insurance company. They also provide you a customized car loan option specifically for what you need. And if you have challenging financial circumstances, they can handle it. They also focus heavily on long term relationship building. And they can also help you build your credit and get in control of your finances as long as you're ready to put in the work. But buy here, pay here doesn't come without disadvantages. Just like direct lending, the vehicle options that you have available are limited to whatever they carry. They also tend to have higher interest rates, although there are some 0% interest rate options that you can ask about. And here's a big one. This route also requires for you to do a lot of research ahead of time to make sure that their reputation is something that you're okay with. You need to make sure that they stand by their product, that they'll do right by you. But most of all, that they'll report your payment history to credit because that's the only way that you can make sure that you'll actually get the help that you need long term. And now that you know the difference between direct lending, dealer financing, and buy here, pay here, you should know that picking the wrong one could cost you a lot of money. So you're probably wondering, well, how can I make sure I pick out the right one? Well, check out this video right here to help you assess your situation properly, step by step, so that you can determine which one of these routes is gonna be best for you. Go ahead, check it out. Go, click it. <laughs> Thanks, and I will see you there. Okay, bye.